Welcome to White Hat Ways. In this video, we'll be learning about what is a session. Anytime somebody visits your website and loads the page of your website, the session gets started. With 30 minutes of inactivity, the session would actually end. And if he comes back after this 30 minutes, he would actually be starting off with a new session this time. So let me show it to you with an example. So I'll just go to this particular website of mine, which is White Hat Ways. So White Hat Ways is going to be my website's name. So anytime somebody comes and visits this particular website of mine, he would be initiating a new session. So as you can see, the website page is loaded and one particular session has been initiated. Now, let's assume that I, after doing some work onto my website and after spending some time on my website, I switch over to another tab and I open another tab and I start working onto this particular tab. Let's say that I go to Canva and start working and start designing on uh, some project and you know I am spending a lot of time over there and 30 minutes have passed by while this white hat ways window is already opened there is no activity that is done in this white hat ways tab and I am spending uh, a lot of time on to Canva and 30 minutes have already passed by so 30 minutes of inactivity into white hat ways uh, would actually end up the previous session and if ever after 30 minutes of working on canva i switch back to white hat ways i would be actually initiating a new session this time so 30 minutes of inactivity uh, would actually end up the previous session and if ever the user comes back to the previous website he would actually be initiating a fresh session this time now let's say uh, you being the google analytics account holder do not wish to abide by this 30 minutes threshold you want to define your own time limit for your user session to be expiring on your website you can do that with the help of Google Analytics. So all you have to do is you can go to Google Analytics, you can go to admin and once there on the admin you can go to uh, tracking info and you can click on session settings and once you are there on the session settings uh, let's say you want to change it from 30 minutes you can go ahead and change it to uh, any other time limit let's say 56 minutes so all you have to do is just set it as fixed 56 minutes in case you want to set it as for one hour so all you have to do is you have to basically choose one hour so over here you will select zero and over here you would select one you would click on apply and thereby what's going to happen is that one hour of inactivity on your website by a user would be counted as a session ended. So the session would keep going till one hour being inactive and thereby it would terminate. And once the user comes to your particular website after one hour of inactivity, then he is going to initiate the second se session in this particular case. Now, there is also one particular rule that also applies along with this particular rule, which I am just going to tell you. Let's assume that somebody comes and visits your website at 11 p.m. and he exits at 12.30 a.m., which is actually the next day. In this case, what would happen is that he actually is initiating two sessions. Why is he initiating two sessions is that a session would automatically terminate at 11 59 and 59 seconds because at midnight the session is automatically going to terminate that is the rule so the session one which was initiated at 11 pm is going to terminate by 12 
and the next session is going to initiate after that which is actually the next day so that is perpetually going to happen with no user activity no user involvement this still would happen on its own this is a rule that session would automatically end at the midnight so as you can see it in the example also this is going to be the same so what the example says over here is that session will end at the midnight so your session is going to end at the midnight end of the day expiry suppose you open a website at 11 pm and exit at 12:30 am in this case two sessions will be counted session 1 will be from 11 pm to 11:59 59 and session 2 will be from 12 am to 12:30 am so in this case two sessions were initiated so two rules are there one rule is pertaining to the 30 minutes of inactivity on your website and when the user comes back to your website he would be initiating another session which is session number 2 the second rule is that when somebody opens your website at uh, prior to 12 am and then he starts of using your website he is initiated session 1 and after 11:59 59 he actually initiates a second session which will be the session number 2 though he has not migrated to any other tab though he is not going to any other website he is there on that particular website only still this is a general rule that applies that after 11:59 59 pm the session 2 would be initiated automatically so let's uh, go ahead and see what the slides have to say and uh, you know let us understand it better through these slides as well so i am just going to take you to the slides so the slide says google analytics records a session every single time someone visits your website so every single time the session is initiated when somebody visits your website A session starts right away when someone loads a page and ends after 30 minutes of inactivity. And as you have already know that in within Google Analytics under tracking info in the admin section under session settings you can change this limit to any other limit. You can change it to 1 hour, 59 minutes, 56 minutes as we try. Uh, so you can go ahead and change this 30 minute limit in case you wish to every page view click transactions etc track during this period of activity makes up one session if that some if if the same visitor comes back several hours later or on the next day a new session is counted therefore one person can log multiple sessions so every single person can log multiple sessions so while the number of users might be less the number of sessions can be more because a single user can go ahead and initiate a lot of sessions so number of sessions would supersede the number of users on a particular website so let's move ahead so in a single session there can be multiple events page views transactions or social interactions so what are the examples of events an event can be a click on a button a scroll of a page filling up of a form maybe viewing of a video all these are the examples of events what are page views viewing a particular page by the user what are transactions initiating a transaction maybe to purchase and what are social interactions a click on a social icon can be a social interaction a user can open multiple sessions which can occur within a day several days weeks or months there are two ways by which session ends we have already discussed the two ways however we are still going to discuss it once again as the slide says so generally a session lasts until 
there is 30 minutes of inactivity but this limit can be changed from few seconds to several hours as you have already seen where can you do it you would need to go to admin and then you would need to click on tracking info and then you need to click on session settings and over there you can change this 30 minute threshold to any particular time limit which you want it to be set as then we have already discussed this example the session will end at midnight example suppose you open up website at 11 pm and exit by 12 30 am which is actually the next day in this case you are initiating two sessions why are you initiating two sessions because session one uh, will be automatically expiring at 11 59 59 pm and session two will be from 12 am till 12 30 am so moving on to the next slide this slide shows uh, 30 minutes without a hit the session ends so uh, there is a page view and then there is an event we've already discussed what are events we would go ahead and set up various kinds of events uh, in the sessions to come however as of now i've already told you what events are i've told you what exactly are the examples of events uh, so uh, a person starts the sessions by viewing a particular page and then he goes and uh, hits a particular event again he goes and hits another event and then there is a page view uh, and then there is a page view and uh, he is uh, he's moving from one page to another page and then uh, in the end uh, the session ends why because there is a lag there is a 30 minutes of inactivity so in this particular video i have elaboratedly explained what are sessions how they are defined and i have given you an example also to actually make you understand it well with this i am ending up this video do subscribe to white hat ways thanks a lot for your time thanks